I've kept a diary since I was 12. And it really, because I, I write about identity as this kind of, you know, um, big social issue. But really, for me, it is also very personal. And really what prompted this book was a very personal identity crisis. I mean, most of my teens, I was in the throes of a serious crisis. And, you know, it threatens to destabilize everything else. And I think we can sometimes forget how important these questions of identity are. They really can rock you. And that's why, in a weird way, I almost relate to these Nelson Column trolls, because I can understand why they feel so emotional about identity, even though I disagree with the kind of parameters of what they're saying. Um, so I went back over my diaries, all of them, to write this book, because I really wanted to accurately capture what I went through and the questions that I was asking in the journey that I'd been on. And I wanted to reach the younger me. That was probably the underlying motive for the book. I just felt like if I could reach one person going through what I went through, if I could make this whole thing easier to understand. Because, you know, you're born into this world. Nobody explains it to you, you know. Nobody explains that you're born into these two identities that are kind of pitted against each other as oppositional from, from the beginning of race being invented as a construct. They were designed to be in opposition to each other. You're born into this. But no one gives you a toolkit or a guidebook. So. I wanted to see if I could make it easier for somebody else so they don't have to start from scratch. So I went through my diaries and it was torture. Oh, it was torture. It was so hard. I'd never read them back before. And it was difficult. It was painful. It was really painful. And then also um, my parents, who I have a great relationship with, I hadn't necessarily had this conversation with them. So they saw me going through my identity crisis, but they have very different identities because my mother was born in Ghana, it was then the Gold Coast, and you know, she's a black woman in a country where the majority was black. My dad is white in Britain, grew up in Britain, the country where the majority are white. So neither of them had race as their primary identity. It's very different when you're born into a society as a minority and you haven't come here from somewhere, you have to kind of make this place work for you, it's all you've got. So it was quite difficult kind of it's quite a strange way of having conversation with your family, basically, like writing and publishing a book. <laughs> and then, and then um, but they've, but it's been amazing because they, um, you know, my mom's actually, the other day my mom said, you know, I feel very othered by that. And I was like, she's had all these experiences, but she's not really had a space to talk about them or a vocabulary to use. So um, it's, it's ended up being a really positive experience, but at the time it was quite difficult and sometimes really painful. Thank you for your question.